Hi guys, welcome to Rapture's house. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's currently going on with you guys. So whoever you're thinking about right now, present moment, let's see what's going on with you guys. Show me spirit. Crushed, sad, broken, and feeling alone. Why are we starting off like this? Somebody is crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone, embarrassed, feeling threatened. Why am I getting like for somebody here, there, there could be somebody else in this energy. For somebody here, there could be other in there, there could be something third party here. For some of you guys, there could be something very, very karmic here, is what I'm getting in this energy. For somebody here, it's like there's somebody, like somebody like a baby mama, a baby daddy, or an ex that's trying to interfere in a current connection. In a current connection. That's what I'm getting in this energy. For some of you guys, there's somebody here that you could have children with, or this, or your person may have children with someone and it's interfering with you and this person coming together properly like it's definitely interfering in your connection somebody is feeling crushed sad broken and they're feeling alone for some of you guys yes this could be you but i really and truly feel for someone here for someone here it's your person's other thing over there like 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 and it's not even i'm not saying your person's doing something wrong i'm not saying that but i'm feeling like somebody and this could be on your side as well I'm getting like somebody tried to, to get back in. Somebody tried to see if there was still feelings, still emotions are still a chance. And like, I feel like somebody is being left like this, kind of crushed, broken, sad, alone. For some of you guys, yes, this could be you, but I really and truly don't get this as you. I really and truly don't get this as you. This could be your person or this could be like your current person, other person that they don't want like that they don't want like that's what i'm getting in this energy yeah yeah threatened embarrassed like and for some of you guys that person is threatened by you for some of you guys that person is truly truly threatened by you uh -huh. yeah like i see this person showing their ass some of you guys whoever this whoever this person is is in your energy this person is a drama queen this person is very much so dramatic. Whether they are masculine or a feminine energy, they know how to act stupid. <laughs> like, like that person knows how to act stupid. Like, yeah, yeah. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos and the person they're thinking about. What is that? Archangel Michael. Why do some of you guys need? Why is there a feeling of needing protection? Is somebody threatening you guys? Like, because that's my second time kind of seeing protection there. And look at that legal. Some of you guys may be having to put a restraining order on someone. Somebody may be mad as hell at you, at you for not wanting to be bothered with them. Like for somebody here, like you may have somebody that's highly perturbed because you don't want to be bothered with them. For somebody here, you could truly be taking an ex to court and they're mad. They're mad in their person mad. Like they mad in their person mad. Some of you guys, somebody is highly upset because you filed some divorce papers. They feel in some type of way about it. They're absolutely feeling some type of way about it. Absolutely feeling some type of way about it. It says divine intervention, prevented from harm and protected. I've seen threatened and I've seen protected. Why do some of you guys feel like you need to be protected? Because somebody feels like they need to be protected. 
from someone here and i feel like it's because either because somebody here doesn't want to be with someone or there's an energy here of someone not liking yeah pretty much pretty much that is what it is like somebody is not happy that somebody doesn't want to be with them somebody's absolutely not happy that somebody doesn't want to be with them somebody's upset somebody's somebody's extremely disappointed and sad over a breakup or a turn down i'm getting like a turn down that's what i'm getting in this energy show me i don't get that, that, that i don't get that this is your energy though i can't even speak like my tongue is getting twisted right here i don't get that that's my virgo's energy i don't get that i'm getting other people's energy here show me but i'm ooh, that's a whole bunch that slid out give me a sec but the craziest thing the absolute craziest thing is that it's not my Virgo. I, I, I just get like somebody is upset with my Virgo because I'm getting like, this is like somebody here that doesn't want you to move on past them. I'm getting like, this is somebody here that doesn't want you to move on past them. But not only that, I'm getting like this person's person. Like there's somebody else in this energy and I'm talking about like, you don't even, you're not even interested in this person. I could feel your energy. Like you could probably care less about this person and their person feels some type of way about you. Like their person feels some type of way that their person, okay. Your person feel their person feels some type of way about you because their person still is into you. If you understand what I'm saying. Like, it ain't your fault. Like, I'm getting like, you know, it's not your fault. Like, really, truly, I'm getting like, it's not your fault. Um, and I'm also getting like the person, that person did you wrong. That person, they slept on the connection. They fucked up. And you said bye. Like, that's what I'm getting in this energy. Like, you said bye. And yeah, they're still bitter about it because they may have tried to come back is what I'm getting. But they also had somebody, for some of you guys, they also had somebody else in that energy and instead of like it's like nah go what movie was that i was watching the other day i watched it so many times though um gosh if i could remember because i know i like to watch movies it's all i do and the husband they had been separated for like 10 years man if i could remember who this is and it's some famous actresses and actors and they had been separated for like 10 years and he married he's cheated on his wife he married a younger woman and then him and his wife started having an affair like 10 years later they had like three grown children guys if you know what i'm talking about because i know y'all y'all like me so y'all know what i'm talking about put it in the comments and that's kind of what i'm getting in the energy like it was his mess up the guy in the movie it was his mess up and there's at, at some point in time 10 years later they started having an affair with each other because you know people we get lost. We all know that we've all had some experiences in our life where we kind of lose our way at some point in time or things are kind of foggy. Things are kind of foggy. But that's kind of what that movie illustrated. And I'm kind of getting that here in this energy. Whereas for some of you guys, there's an energy here of like somebody not being too happy where they're at. Somebody not being too content where they're at. But I'm getting like my Virgo could care less with all honesty. I'm getting like my Virgo has actually moved on to someone else. That's, that's what I'm getting in this energy. This energy of what I'm getting right here, present moment, is not, I don't get your energy though. Like I'm not getting like you're mad, you're crushed, you're needing, like somebody's needing to be protected from you. I'm getting you're needing to be protected for some of you guys. You're needing to be protected from somebody else because somebody else is dealing with somebody crazy. Like I'm getting like a crazy baby mama, a crazy baby daddy, a crazy ex, um, like yeah like somebody's extremely extremely crazy done completion look i didn't even flip this card you're done you've already learned your lesson out of this connection you're done you could care less like really and truly that's what i'm getting in this energy the, whoever this is that you're thinking about because as i'm saying this to you you're probably like tanya i know exactly who you're talking about somebody's gonna say that to me in the comments somebody's gonna be like tanya i know exactly who you're talking about and you're right i'm done because you're i feel like you guys you've learned your lesson already like this is like not wanting to match someone's energy at one point in time what i'm getting in this energy at one point in time like you guys may have matched this person's energy i don't know why i keep feeling like i'm hearing something but you know what i forget i have wind chimes right here above this window so that's what i keep hearing banging because if y'all see my eyes going different ways i'm like what is that noise so excuse me because i'm freaking my own self out because i'm trying to stay focused but I, i'm like what is that noise 
but I forget that I put wind chimes up against this thing and it's hitting. Sorry for the mix up. <laughs> but I'm definitely getting like, guys, your, whoever this person is, I'm getting like, you're done. You're done with the games. You're done with the BS. You don't even want this person anymore. But you're going to know exactly who I'm talking about as I see 1010 on this clock. Yeah. Show me. Yeah, Ascension, Spiritual Path, Awakening. Like, you're moving on. You're absolutely, look at that. Look at you walking into your own, I'm hearing like walking walking into your own righteous path. Like, you're, you're, you're climbing stairs. You're moving on. You're leaving. You're not going down. You're moving up. You see how she's ascending? She's moving up, up. You're moving on to better, better things, bigger and better things. You're done with whomever this is. And you're moving on to bigger and better things. Yeah, look at that. Emotions coming and going. Now, for some of you guys, yes, this was this transition has not been easy. This transition has not been easy. But let me tell you, somebody is bitter. Like somebody is extremely, extremely sad. I'm getting like somebody crying to their friends and their family members. Somebody has regrets. Somebody really, really and truly has some regrets. There's a lot of emotions coming and going. Like I'm getting like for somebody here, like even the person, that person that's in your head, the person that you know exactly who this is, they had a lot of coming and going in their life since you. Like they may have not just been with one person since you. Like they had a lot of coming and going. Why? Because this person had some shit. They had some shit with them. They had some things they needed to work out. And while I'm getting like my Virgo, you probably never pass. You definitely, I'm getting in this energy. You didn't pass through as much people as this person. But if, even if you did, like even if you went to one person, you still didn't go to, through as much people as this person. And that's not what I'm getting in this energy. No, but this person is crying a river right now, present moment. This person is extremely sad by where they're at right now, present moment. I don't even know who this person is to you guys. <laughs> but that person is not happy right now present moments wow this person's coming straight through straight through show me but you are coming straight through like your glow up I, i'm getting like your performance like you're putting on a show some of you guys are putting on a show for people like like if you're showing up to like events and parties around town like i'm i'm like I feel like some of you guys, you're making yourself look real, real good to give people something to talk about and give people something to see. There is a something to talk about and a something to see here. Like that's what I'm really and truly getting in that energy, in that glow up, that ascension that you guys are experiencing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna tell me about it. Show me spirit, show me. Wow, okay. Triggers, negotiator, bargaining and writing. So someone here, mm, somebody loves you. <laughs> somebody loves you. I feel like for some of you guys, this is this is this is somebody new. Yes, this this other person right here that's sad and disappointed. We already know they love you. They they borderline obsessed. We actually get that energy. But you got somebody else here that loves you. We got somebody else here that loves you. Hmm. But I still see a past person here trying to negotiate and bargain their way back in. For some of you guys, this past person is actually gonna try and bribe you. <laughs> For some of you guys, it's like they're gonna offer you something to stay. <laughs> like, yeah. For somebody here, that like you may receive like a song or a written message or something lengthy from someone expressing how they feel about you. Someone's going to send you something, they're going to write it. I'm getting like, they're going to write it send you a message, leave you a note expressing to you how they feel. And it's going to be lengthy. It's going to be lengthy. For some of you guys, you have somebody here that wants to outshine you. Like you may get, like you may see, like you may run in the same circle with a past person or you may run in a circle with a new person, but there's somebody here that wants you to see them. Like somebody here is trying to trigger you. Somebody here is trying to get your attention. For some of you guys, yes, it could be a past person. But for some of you guys, it could be a new person trying to get your attention. Yeah, somebody's trying to get your attention. I do, I do see somebody bargaining and begging. Somebody bargaining and begging for your attention. Yeah. But what you don't see is some love here. There's some true, true love here. True love. Wow. That's some strong energy. That is some strong energy, but let me tell you, 
there is another energy here that is not happy with you. And I'm not talking about your past person. I'm talking about somebody on the other side of this. Like this could be a mother figure or this could be like somebody that they're dealing with right now, present moment. And because your person, whoever this person is, because you're still on their brain, you're still, it's like, I'm getting like this person can almost still taste you. And it actually like pisses somebody off. <laughs> like, like that's what I'm kind of getting in that energy. And they're not happy about this. Like I, I, it's like I'm hearing, like they, they get a mouthful from their person. They get a mouthful from their person. You may not know this. You may not even know the kind of storm that you're causing somebody else's household. Like you may not even know this. Because I don't get like you know this. This might be a shocker. You might you might intuitively feel it. But me telling you this might be a shocker. <laughs> All right, let's see. Show me spirit. Show me crush. Who's crushed behind my Virgo spirit? Mm, they both came out in reverse. Let's see what that is. So we have the seven of wands and the seven of pentacles. Somebody that had it and lost it. Somebody that had you and they lost you. Somebody they they fumbled the ball. <laughs> like somebody fumbled the ball. Somebody here that you were once invested in and you wasted, you felt like you wasted your time. With that seven of pentacles, you this is somebody that you've already invested your time and energy into. And they fumbled the ball. Like, and now you want nothing to do with this person. You this is this is somebody here that you would have once fought for, you once did fight for. They fumbled the ball and they slept on the connection. They fucked up. And now they sad, they mad, they crush, they all of the above, they feel broken, they want to cry. It's like cry me a river. <laughs> like I'm hearing like cry me a river for somebody here. This person is even crying to their mother. But I feel like their mother kind of played a role in this. That message is meant for someone very, very specific. Like their mother may have had a say so in this, but now this person is crying to even their mother. Like they're crying to even their mother. They're singing a totally different song. This person is singing a totally different song. Yeah. Show me this Archangel Michael spirit. Ooh, Cage of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Somebody sorry. <laughs> Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Somebody wants to apologize. Somebody feels like now is the time they owe you an apology. Somebody wants to apologize. For some of you guys, it could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Somebody younger than you. Six of Cups. Somebody from your past. This is a past life connection. Somebody here that you could have children with. Somebody that you lived a past life with. For some of you guys, it's somebody that you've been known since childhood. But this person wants to apologize. This person wants to see if, the, if there's any feelings still there. This person wants to see if there's any feelings still there. Yeah. Show me this is done for my Virgos. Ooh, what is that? Three of Swords. Yeah, Three of Swords came out in the reverse. Somebody that you've ended things with want to heal the situation with you. Somebody that you've already ended things with. This person broke your heart. They want to end things with you. Eight of Swords. Look at that. They're in a mental prison behind this. For some of you guys, this person could actually be in prison. For some of you guys, this person could actually be in prison. For some of you guys, this person could be actually stuck in something else and they are not content. They are not happy. They're not content at all, but you're done with this person. But let me tell you, this person this person learned a very hard lesson. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like I want to, so it's like I'm like, I'm like, this person learned a very hard lesson by fucking with you. <laughs> like that's what I'm getting in this energy. Like this person learned a very hard lesson, a very, very hard lesson. Yeah, this person, they hurt you. They did. Like this person had you in something third party. For some of you guys, you had to end this third party. You had to end this foolishness. And for some of you guys, this person broke your heart. Yes, but the thing about it is now, they're, now they want to mend it. They want to try and mend it. Like, you know, and somebody broke your heart. They went to jail. They did things they weren't supposed to do at all. Whoever this is. The hangman is shifting perspective now. Strong Pisces energy. Now this person is seeing things differently. This person has learned a very, 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 very. If, you're, if somebody went to jail behind some bullshit or like like I'm, I'm even getting like somebody could be in jail like dealing with child support for for other children and what i'm getting in this energy is like that person has learned a very valuable lesson because why because there's either a chance of losing you or they've lost you there's a chance of losing you or this person has lost you yeah 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 
<laughs> All right, show me this ascension for my Virgos. The Fool. I like that. So you guys, you have a bright new a bright new beginning. A bright new beginning here. This is about you guys taking a leap of faith. Look at that. To to move on. See that? This is you guys taking a leap of faith to move on, to move forward. Big big energy. Yeah, Aries energy, two of cups. Some of you guys, you're going, you're, there's a new relationship here. There's a new soulmate relationship here. With some very much so unconditional love. For some of you guys, like you, this, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Strong Aries energy here with that two of cups, that soulmate energy, that soulmate. See that? Like this is where you're going. This is where you're at for some of you guys. It doesn't have to be in Aries, but this is talks about taking a leap of faith. This talks about starting a whole new life with someone else. Somebody that has a, a higher class is what I'm getting. This person is better than the last person. This person is better than the last person. This person, you can be, you know what I'm getting? You can be your true self with this person. For some of you guys, you mesh with this person on a very spiritual level. For some of you guys, you mesh with this person on a very spiritual level. For some of you guys, this person is here to help you heal from that past. Some son of a son of a son of a. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's what, I don't know why I was about to be like the SOB. Because <laughs> I have no reason to say that. But I was about to say it. So some of you guys might, might be talking straight to me. Like while I'm saying this to you guys, some of you guys, you may be talking back to me right now. Present moment. <laughs> Show me the negotiator for my Virgos. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy. The, some of you guys dealing with another earth sign. Yeah, the world. Some of you guys, you're dealing with another earth sign. This person does not want things to end with you. Oh, no, they don't. Ten of Wands. This person wants to lay the lay their lay the burdens down. Like, this is somebody here that they, 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 this is another earth sign. This is not you. This Virgo Taurus Capricorn here, this is not your energy. This is this is another earth sign energy. Some of you guys are dealing with another earth sign. And this person, this person is stable. This person is disciplined. Like, you know, I like this person. You know, this is another earth sign. So you know we like this person's energy because we we this energy. You know you like this person's energy. I don't even know who this person is for you, but I know you like this person's energy because we're all earth signs. So let's start there. So I see what you like about this person. But... So this person, <laughs> this person doesn't want things to end. This person feels like, you know, they can't be in this world without you. Whoever this person is, they feel like they can't be in this world without you. This person, there's unfinished business between you and this person. There's unfinished business between you and this person. This person wants, this person's going to be begging and trying to bargain. This person wants what you got. But the thing about it is, why is this person begging and bargaining? Like, that's what I want to know. And why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is this person begging and bargaining? Because if this person is all that, I'm hearing like all that in the bag of chips, like all that in what these cards are saying. If this person is all that, why are they having to negotiate with you? Why is this spirit? Five of Swords. There's challenges. There is other people. There is drama. Some of you guys, that's that drama queen I told you about. For some of you guys, that's that drama queen that I picked up at the beginning of the reading. For some of you guys, there is somebody else in this energy. There's someone else in this person's life that's causing this person problems. So it's interfering with this per you and this person coming together. Yeah. Nine of Wands. And for some of you guys, that's why this person has been so in and out of your life. Like, so there's an in and out energy. Like, there's an unreliable energy with this person. But that's why this person has been so unreliable is because there is conflict. I'm getting like this person have conflict. If this is something where they, you know this person got somebody else, whether you know they got somebody else or not, there's somebody else interfering. <laughs> like, I don't know what you know, but there's somebody else interfering. There's conflict. There's challenges here. And there's other people that's causing this conflict and these challenges. And that's why, that's a big part of this person's behavior. This person's been a lot, a lot in and out. A lot in and out. The craziest thing is that this person loves you. This person might not be showing you their emotions, but they love you. But again, for some of you guys, you could work with this person, but there is somebody else in this energy. There is somebody else in this energy. Queen of Cups, why is this your divine counterpart? <laughs> like, and this person could actually be married. 
This person could actually be married. This person could be married or you could be married to this person. Whereas you and this person still have, you and this person still have unfinished business, but there is somebody else in this energy. You tell me, like, you tell me, like, is this person married? Or are you married to this person? Who else is in this energy? Because there's somebody else in this energy causing all this drama, all this conflict. For some of you guys, it is like a baby mama, a baby daddy, or like, like there's a jealous individual here causing problems. And like, I'm getting like somebody here trying to save their, like somebody's trying to save their connection with you. Like I'm definitely getting like somebody trying to save the connection. And this is why this person is bargaining and begging and trying to negotiate things with you. And for some of you guys, this person got somebody else and you a third wheel. And again, that's why this person is bargaining and begging because I'm getting like, for some of you guys, you may be trying to pull your energy back from this person. Like I am getting like, you may be trying to pull your energy back from this person, but this person is not wanting to let you. Like they're not wanting to let you pull your energy back from them. That's a big energy. That's definitely, definitely a big energy. Yeah. Hmm. Big energy. Show me triggers. Who's triggering my Virgos? Who's triggering my Virgos are trying to? Ooh. <laughs> For some of you guys, it's your person that's triggering you. Why they're triggering you, they, they fucking with you. I'm going to tell you that right now because we have that king of pentacles in the upright and this dead smack is that queen of pentacles in the reverse. For some of you guys, you're dealing with a broke somebody. I, I'm, I was about to say a broke D, five of cups. Look at that. They broke. Like they're sad. They're sad. They crying. They're depressed. What I'm getting really and truly is somebody else though. Like I, it's like there is somebody else in this energy. And like I'm almost getting like an ex. But this person here, like, I'm getting somebody that's flashy. I'm getting somebody that's flashy and they broke. They can be, they, they mean as flashy as they want to be, but they broke. Yeah, they are. They're broke. For some of you guys, your person is dealing with a gold digger or someone here that is looking for, like, looking for somebody to take care of them. Yeah, because this queen of pentacles in the reverse is somebody that's looking for, this is another earth sign for a lot of you guys. But this is somebody that's looking for someone to take care of them. Whether they're a fat, um, uh, I don't know why I was about to say a facet. I don't know why that was coming into my mouth. But whether they're feminine or a masculine, this person is not, this person is living beyond their means. Some of you guys, this could be you. Some of you guys, yes, this could be you, but this person is living beyond their means. This person is living beyond their means. This person is trying to catch someone's attention. For some of you guys, do not, do not go broke trying to match somebody else's energy. That's a warning for someone. Don't put yourself in debt or put yourself in financial ruin to try and match somebody else's energy because you still haven't healed from this hurt and pain that this person has caused you. That message is meant for someone very, very specific. Someone very, very specific. Yeah. Show me journal. Queen of Wands. Somebody, Ace of Wands. You're about to receive communication from somebody that finds you extremely, extremely attractive and somebody that wants to do some things to you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy somebody but this somebody here that finds you to be extremely extremely attractive and this person wants to do some things for me for to you like you're going to receive some type of communication from this person i'm talking about like and it's going to be lengthy it ain't going to be minute it's not going to be like hey what's up <laughs> it's going to be lengthy it's going to be wordy <laughs> like i'm definitely definitely getting like this communication that's coming in it's going to be it's going to be worthy <laughs> like oh, I, said, I don't know i don't know why i'm here i just said worthy it's gonna be wordy <laughs> you know what i kind of been drinking but i haven't even drunk anything i will be drinking i'm going to a birthday party after i'm done here <laughs> so i will be drinking so that's why i was like i, I never do readings with anything in my system <laughs> because y'all can then imagine what i would say to y'all if i had something in my system <laughs> all right let's see show me spirit show me this new love for my Virgos. Show me what's up with this new love for my Virgos. Ooh, strength. I like that. Leo energy is a strong connection. 
page of wands again text messages some of you guys you met somebody new online some of you guys you just started dating someone new it's some some cute little conversations you're having via text messages a little spicy some of you guys are having a little spicy communication a little spicy it's a strong connection this new connection is actually quite strong it's kind of spicy too yeah Ooh, death you're having to some of you guys somebody is having to make a decision to walk away from something you know what it is for some of you guys you've met someone new and in meeting that someone new is what's going to make you walk away from something that was already over and done with that's when you're going to completely wash your hands with something that was already over and done with someone new you're building up a connection some of you guys you're already building up a connection you've already started something before you truly close the door on something else and i feel like it's like now you're making a decision. No, I'm truly done because you already got somebody else. Somebody that you actually have some strong feelings for. Somebody, a connection that's actually building. There's a connection here that's building. Yeah. Show me. Oh, the high priestess. The secrets. The cat is out the bag. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like the cat is out the bag. Look at that, the high priestess. There's some things that you guys are keeping hidden. For some of you guys, uh, you're hiding a relationship. This new connection, you've been hiding this new connection. You've been doing it in secret. Yeah, you've been having, you started, some of you guys have started a whole new relationship in secret. Like, if you're like going through a divorce or a separation or something like that, I'm getting like, or even if like if you have children or something like that, like you you started a whole new connection, but you're hiding this connection. I don't know why I'm getting like for some of you guys, like a finalization of something. The hangman, but you're getting tired of this. Some of you guys, you're getting tired of hiding what you're doing, who you're doing it to. Like, it's almost like you're ready. The, the cat is out of the bag. You're ready to let the cat out of the bag is what I'm getting in this energy. Four of Pentacles with temperance. You're tired of being patient. I'm getting like some of you guys, you're tired of waiting your turn. Tired of being patient. Tired of taking other people's feelings into consideration. Because for some of you guys, it's taking other people's feelings into consideration here. Yeah, Three of Wands, you've been patiently waiting and now your ships are here. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot and like you have been patient. You feel like you've been patient long enough is what I'm hearing. You've taken other people's feelings into consideration long enough. That's a real, real big energy. Yeah. Hmm. For some of you guys, there's someone here that's going to come in unexpectedly. Somebody that's been at crossroads about you could be a Scorpio. This person was at crossroads about this connection and about you. But I see this person coming back in. You're not gonna, you don't see this person coming back towards you. This person is coming in to fight for you because this person sees you as their happy place and their true fulfillment. For some of you guys, you don't see this. Oh gosh, gosh. For some of you guys, you got somebody here like you are everything to this person. Like you don't see that this is how, you don't see this. You have somebody coming towards you. You're everything to this person. Like absolutely everything to this person. Yeah, it's hidden from you. Strong Cancer Pisces energy. It's hidden from you. You're everything to this person. Yeah. There's somebody here that's bitter though. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. There is somebody here that is bitter. And there is somebody here that's not stupid. Like, and I'm not, as I see 33, 33 on the clock. I'm not saying this is you or your person. There's that other person. They not stupid. They're not stupid, but they bitter. Oh, they bitter. Oh, they better. Hmm. <laughs> Show me spirit. What's your advice? What's your advice for my Virgos? My beloved, though we though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Somebody really does love you. Whether you know this or not. Like, but I'm getting more than one person in this energy. For some of you guys, you got to pass in a new person. And then you got somebody else over there that's bitter. <laughs> All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. I love you all.